Yes. So we've already prepared salicylic acid using Kolb's reaction. Now let us see how to convert salicylic acid into aspirin, right? So the other name given for aspirin is 2-acetoxy benzoic acid. Yes. Okay. Let us uh, see how is this form. It's simple. Now pick up your salicylic acid. Now what is salicylic acid? Your salicylic acid is your OH and your COH. This is your salicylic acid. Correct? So to this salicylic acid, you are going to introduce a compound called acetic anhydride. I have been using the same acetic anhydride pre in previous classes also. So what is acetic anhydride? This is your CH3, CO, O, CO, CH3. Basically, you have taken two moles of acetic acid and you have dehydrated one water molecule. I have shown this already. And finally, you have got acetic anhydride. Now, observe. <coughs> there is a cleavage of the bond as always. Yes. Now, there is a cleavage of the bond here also. Correct? Yes. Now, this whole thing comes and attacks here. So, what am I trying to say? This whole group comes and attaches to the electronegative oxygen atom and your H plus comes in, comes out with this acetic acid. So how does this look now? Let us see. What did I say? Your COOH is still existing there. That is why you call benzoic acid. And now your oxygen is still existing there. What else is left? Now your carbon. Don't write O and O. Wrong. It is O, C, O, C, H, 3. Acetoxy. And what else has come out? Acetic acid is out. This is your aspirin tablet. So simple. Take salicylic acid, add acetic anhydride, cleave the bond above oxygen. One comes out as acetic acid and the other is your aspirin tablet. So aspirin as I have written to acetoxy benzoic acid. This is the conversion of salicylic acid to aspirin.